Let's play. Josh Kell here with more Blue Dragon. So, uh, yeah, this is the first episode of the third disc, and when I load this save, we're gonna go straight to, uh, cinematic, so... Enjoy the cinematic, I guess. <laughs> A dream? Playable. Yeah, that was all a dream and a... Uh... So the game never happened, no. <laughs> the game did happen. <laughs> oh! So I wake up in some house and I'm already raiding it. Yeah, that sounds about right. That's that's the old blue dragon fashion. Not that, you know, there's that much worth raiding in here. I mean, it looks like a dump. We couldn't get some nothings, though. Not that many. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's go downstairs, I guess. I see you're awake. Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm glad you slept so well. You've been out for three days. Three days! Did you know you were asleep for that long? Three days? I found you lying unconscious near the village. What about my friends? Oh, they're already awake, dear. I saw them in the plaza earlier. They were very worried about you because you didn't wake up. As a matter of fact, the young girl was even crying. In the plaza? Uh, you said this was a village. What's the name of this place? This is Devour Village. Well, I'm Shu from Talta Village. Thanks for helping me. Playable. Devour village, huh? That's. <laughs> I wonder if that's a symbolism for what is going on in this village. Oh, great! It's the generic evil forest village. Well, there's already been an evil forest in this game, though. Do we really need another one? <laughs> I don't like the look of this thing. I really don't like the sound of that thing. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so, uh, where, this is the plaza, I guess. Where's my homies? Uh, okay, let's have a look. You seen my homies, girl? Have you seen my friends? Your friends? No. She doesn't know, apparently. What are you? What, what are you? How about you? That long looking girl is Sally. She lost her parents recently. That's sad. Yeah, it's sad, alright. Yeah, everyone's miserable? Why, huh? Then again, in this world, who wouldn't be? It seems like freaking every single village has some kind of plague by Nene, because he's just an asshole, I guess, who wants to rule the world. Anyway, that's uh, there's a warp device here, but of course, we can't. Wait, can't we warp? Of course we can't. No, of course we can't. We don't have magic. See, well, no. Oh, well, he's got 10 MP because I assume he's got some item, but uh, he should have no MP. It's because we have no magic. You know, no shadows, no classes, no all, none of that. We're we're pretty freaking useless. 
about as strong as we were at the start of the game. <laughs> I'm getting out of here today. These annoying trees. The trees, huh? Yeah, there is some like crackling noise going on. So I, I don't know. I don't know. This place this is pretty creepy. Look at these trees all over the place. So there's a spell shop around here somewhere. We can actually pick up some spells and there's like some quips and stuff too. So we should probably do some shopping before we leave. If we can leave. <laughs> that guy made it sound like we couldn't. Here are my homies. Oh, they're around here. Inspecting the white barrier. Yeah, we can't get in those guys. <laughs> hey! Shoo! Shoo! <laughs> Are you guys okay? Well, what about you? Kloop told me what happened. I'm okay. What about Zola? She isn't here? No. That's Zola for you. She probably made a clean escape. I bet she went back to King Gibral. She can take care of herself. I guess. Shu, how did this happen? How did we get away from Nene? That wasn't a dream, was it? He was gonna crush us, wasn't he? It wasn't a dream. Jiro, do you remember when Nene called us vessels? Yes, I remember that all right. Those light spheres that we swallowed were actually Nene's soul. I'm guessing the reason he was having us use magic was so that it would develop and nourish his soul. And that was in order to cure the rapid aging disease he has. He put on this act to make it seem like he was killing us, so we would grow the resolve to not give up. But the reason he did this was so that we'd build up the magic. So, we can't use magic anymore? If he doesn't need us, then why are we still wearing these collars? But... I used magic. What? what? It was so intense, I wasn't sure what was happening, but I knew it was magic. That's what allowed us to escape. Mm. Oh. Yeah. At the time, I thought we should all just run away. Can you believe I actually thought something like that? You gave up? That's not like you! Yeah, I know. I gave up. Jiro, I think I finally understand. Giving up or running away isn't always a bad thing. I mean, not if we live to fight another day. It's just all part of the bigger plan, you know? Hmm. Hmm. I realize that I won't give up is not always the answer. Join. Oh, well, there's some char character development for Shu. Not that uh, he's finished with that yet. Uh, okay, so now what? <laughs> so, Kluke's got MP too. Everyone's getting MP from their items, I guess. But Maru and Jiro, they're empty. No MP. Uh... Is, can we go to the spell shop? Yeah, I think. Yeah, it's right here. Yeah, we may as well go in here now. Spend some gold. No, because we don't need it. Well, why am I buying spells? It's not like we can use these anyway. So here is quicker. About time we got that right. Uh, attack up. That could be interesting. It's definitely worth casting. And we got Walla. Not that you know I have barrier magic or anything. <laughs> and that's that's all it's new. But definitely. Definitely some stuff that's worth it, so come in here come in here and get it if you uh, want to cast magic again. <laughs> no, no magic. Uh, there's the inn, there's like, you know, there's like everything. Where's the item shop though? I kind of want to go in there just to buy. Mm, now, I, I, I wanted to buy something, but now I don't think we will because in the in area after this, we pick up a bunch of stuff. So, you know, we're kind of wasting our money if we buy, like, some accessories or something. Oh, point. Ah, there's something over here. Oh, my God. 
Hey! Darn it. That didn't work either. Yes, something is wrong with this entire village. Huh? Those trees keep us trapped in here. Keep you trapped? Yes, that's right. We are its food. There is a flesh-eating tree in the middle of our village. A flesh-eating tree? You guys couldn't have shown up in a worse uh. place for a rescue. So... Tell me, where did you come from, anyway? Whoa. That's what we'd like to know. It's too bad. You've had a terrible twist of fate. The flesh-eating trees are horrible. Three or four times a year, they grab one of us to eat. If we try to leave, the other trees block the way. If we try to chop them off, well, you saw what happened. Could it be? Is Nene doing this? Who else? Join. Are you Nene? Oh. <laughs> By the way, like, not that cutscene, the cutscene before, Jiro seemed to know a lot about what works. Is he come, some kind of, like, double agent or something? He knows too much. So, uh, yeah, I guess, um, Shu really wants to kill this tree now, so we're gonna kill this tree. Thing. But this is the flesh-eating tree, right? We gotta get rid of it! No, you can't! Shoo! We have no magic, remember? We're unarmed. Maybe I can do it. Why? You couldn't do it before! I did it when I fought Nene. Maybe I can do it again! Hmm, I wonder about that shoe. <laughs> so, we're fighting the tree. Now, of course, we're supposed to lose this fight. Like, we, we got no magic, we no chance. We got no chance. But the funny thing is, if we had our other party members, we probably could win this. Like, he doesn't do too much damage to you, and you could slowly, like, chip away over time. But since we've only got shoe, it's kind of impossible. <laughs> Eight. Yeah, that does, that does like nothing. It's got too much defense. Yeah, and there's no way we'd have enough potions to keep like healing ourselves. So just uh, die, I guess. It's funny to see he's still got that dagger. Like, was he keeping that in his pocket the whole time? Like, the whole game? I wonder if any like attacking items work. Yeah, I don't know. Die hands. Even like four damage <laughs> makes his. Him go, oh, my hands, that hurt. Ow. See, Shu's too overleveled. <laughs> this is taking way too long. <laughs> I almost kind of feel like trying to do this, but no, nah, he's got like over 2,000 health, so this would literally take like forever with like doing like nines, and he blocks every like second turn, and then he does this, which is gonna kill me. Yep, there we go. Silly shoe. You stood no chance. Well, I... Th the other guys should have helped me, though. That was kind of asshole of them, huh? Oh, you're awake. You sure never give up on anything, do you? <clears throat> there is nothing to be done. We can only wait for that tree to wither and die. What else can we do? That tree has made us prisoners here. We just try to ignore it. Playable. I'm getting deja vu. It's like this already happened. <laughs> okay, so let's exit the house. Of course, it has to load the first floor, and then we can exit the house. Wait, is there more stuff I can steal? Nothing. Nope. That's good, though. <laughs> we haven't been to the nothings man in a while. Oh, they're, they're, he, he reached in the fireplace and took out the gold. 
Wow, Shuri, that's pretty badass of you. Item. Uh, ultra medicine. Okay, we're pretty. Nothing. Uh, nothing. Gold. Oh, gold. So we've got some nothing. quite a few nothings from this house. <laughs> okay, let's. All right, let's. Uh, I guess we got to do like everything again. We got to find our friends and then run around for a bit again. That sounds like fun. <laughs> uh, saves over there. Where am I even going though? It's like, I don't know, it's just like run around until something happens. No, I... <laughs> that, that is a good question though, what am I doing? <laughs> uh, oh, okay, something. You need to go to the inn. That girl you were with, she just collapsed, and they brought her inside. You mean Kluke? Playable. No, Kluke is in danger. Ooh, a chest. <laughs> Screw Kluke, I got chests. No, uh, so Kluke is in danger, so we got better go, uh, see what the hell's going on. But, uh, that'll have to wait till next time, so, uh, thanks for watching a bunch of cutscenes, and I barely got to talk at all. Next time we'll have even more cutscenes, and le even less talking. <laughs> this is definitely a very cutscene-heavy town. Uh, I wonder why. Whoa, I felt like the game froze for a second there. No, it just went black, can I- no, I can't replicate that. It's like... No. <laughs> okay, so anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care till then.